we developed the idea for the Business Governance Society Initiative with the idea that it would give us a chance to put the school at the forefront of emerging areas. So debates about free markets and governance and regulation, advances in technology, sustainability and energy transition, and in that way respond to the changes in the world and get ahead of them. And one of the ambitions that we have had with the initiative was that we would be able to try to use the school, power of the school, to spark discussions among faculty and students and leaders from, from business and government and civil society. And this forum is very much in that spirit. Do you have any advice for the students in this room whose interests are to move between public and private sector? I have seen very different people be successful in leadership roles. Very, very different people. I, I don't know if it's in every person, but it's in a lot of people to find your own way to lead. And, and it, it, you don't have to be one way or another. We can decarbonize the economy by 70 by percent and household energy spend will go down by 30 percent at the same time because electricity is more efficient than gasoline as a fuel and as we transition to an electrified economy household spend on energy will go down. We can both decarbonize the economy and lower household spend on energy simultaneously. It's a great time to be in this business. How, how do you think about the potential labor market effects, effects on jobs, on work uh, from AI? All our predictions about the past 20 years of what automation will do to the economy hasn't quite exactly panned out the way we all predicted 20 years ago. So I think we have to keep an open mind. Having said that, all of us feel the weight of, uh, you know, for a technology like AI, which can progress fast, there could be larger scale societal disruptions. And, you know, and hence a conference like this, the kind of intersection of business, government, and society, I think will be increasingly important as we grapple with changes from AI. You know, the things that really make possible this entire enterprise of business and capitalism is, is society, actually, and governments, actually, setting the structure that makes this possible. And, and it's really the thing, and those sorts of structures in society are what can channel the really positive, productive, innovative energies of business and capitalism in ways that are beneficial for a lot of people in society. And I think it's really important to support that endeavor as well, the civil society and government angle of this, as well as you know companies doing the right thing and making good decisions. Now, what should those decisions be? What should those policies be, both within a company and in society as a whole? That's a hard question. Like, and I think amongst people in this room, there's a lot of disagreement about that. And amongst people outside of this room, there's a lot of disagreement about that as well. So those are the, the conversations that need, we need to be continually having and having those sorts of respectful disagreements about how things should function at the intersection of business, government, and society.